If cherry cost 399 per pound, how much will you feel for 3 and 2 fifth round? So well, I'm going to show you this one with the calculator and also manually with the proportion and long calculation. Okay, so first of all, you have to make a decision. Are you going to add, are you going to subtract, are you going to multiply or are you going to divide? So let's understand what does this mean? 399 per pound means one pound is equal to 399 okay so if one pound is approximately four dollar we are buying actually more than three pound so well it should give us at least twelve dollar in other words three times four is twelve it should be twelve plus so we're going to multiply actually that's the best way of doing or working on this one actually okay so well if we multiply okay any calculator is going to work so if we multiply we can get this calculator here so 3.99 times 3 second n over d 2 over 5 and you go to the right side enter and it gives you 13.566 so let's take a look here okay so basically it's going to give you that much clearly as you see so 13.566 approximately well we don't want to say 566 cents no we're going to say 13 dollar 57 cents after 99 cents we round to the hundred so we just we can do it in the calculator we go to mode and we go float and go to number two enter clear enter look 13 dollar 57 cents so that's how we do it through the calculator okay now how do you do it manually here you go how do you do it manually okay so manually is basically we are going to find out a way to convert this into a decimal so i'll three is a whole number two fifth so two fifth how do we convert a decimal so i'll if you know the long multiplication, 5 is the divisor, divisor goes outside and 2 is inside. So 5 is not going to go to 2. So we need a decimal. So 0, 5 now divisible by 20. So 4 times 5 is 20. In other words, is 40 cents. 250 is 40 cents. Some of you don't even have to do that. I just showed you those in need. So what is this? Then there is a 3 here. So what we do? 3.4. That's all. This is right way. Or some of us actually do this way. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17 over 5. And you convert into decimal, which is also 3.4. It depends on you how you do it. Okay. All right. So we have 3.99. 3.99 without decimal with decimal doesn't really matter and of course 3.4 we are going to multiply so that's a multiplication 4 times 9 is 36 and 3 there 4 times 9 is 36 plus 3 36 plus 3 is 39 again 3 is there 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15 so 5 comes here and 1 comes down here okay now we have another one we're going to multiply this one 3 times 9 is 27 so we're going to put down 7 right in tens place 27 remember we have now this time 2 left over okay 3 times 9 is 27 plus 2 is 29 and of course 2 is still there 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11 so let's put down 11 here and when you multiply you basically add multiplication is a repeated addition okay a repeated addition so some of us put down cross mark some of us put down 0 here some of us don't put anything they all are right away this is a long multiplication okay so 6 plus 0 is 6 9 plus 7 is 16 and of course there is one down one up there i carry to the left 
so 1015 and of course one up there is 3 and one coming down now this is not our answer this is leading to the answer we have to deal with the decimal remember we start both of the you know piece has a decimal so how many decimal places we have let's actually figure that out so we had one two decimal three decimals so what we do we go one two three decimal here you go that's how we actually work it out so it's going to be 13.566 six. again we're going to round things up if it's less than five no it's greater than five so we add one to here so it's going to give us 13. Point $5.7 for 3 and 2 fifth found. Okay, so next thing we're going to learn actually how to set up as a proportion. Okay, so that's really important, cool stuff actually. Okay, so if we can set up as a proportion, I'm doing the same problem 399 for found. Okay, so if I put down, you know, I can put down the unit found, found. If I can put down the unit on top matching, right? That's the goal for, you know, uh, setting as a proportion actually. Okay, so found on top. So basically, we, are, can, we can actually work it out. So one found is 399. So we're going to put down one found. We're going to set this one, okay? We're going to set this one as a we're going to set this one as a fraction. So we're going to say one found. We're going to say one found equal to 399. Okay. And then, of course, we're going to say three and two fifth found. So it's going to go up here, three and two fifth found. And how much you will pay? We don't know the money. So that is going to be the unknown. Once we have that, we just cross product okay just like that we just cross product okay once we cross product because we are assuming two fractions are equal so we can cross product like that okay so it's going to be 1x 1 times x is 1x okay equal to we multiply this It's going to give us 13.566 and obviously we're going to round it up okay so x is equal to x is equal to 13.57 approximately approximately 13.57 thank you